Safe leader Julius Malema is addressing his supporters outside the Hawks office in Silverton, Pretoria, after being summoned over allegations that he discharged a firearm in public. We take you live to those proceedings now. To refuse to say something to them, and I say to you, surely you should know that they are more important than you. And uh, what I say uh, may incriminate uh, me uh, uh, in the near future. So. Let's respect the fact that I said I don't want to talk and I'll talk at an appropriate uh, forum except that I deny the allegations uh, put before me. Do you align yourself with the version that Mr Ndlozi provided to the public after the event that you were playing with a, a toy gun to coincide with firecrackers that were going off? Mr Ndlozi can say anything he wants to say. He's not charged. I'm charged. Um, um, uh, and uh, anything I say may be used against me in the court of law and therefore we should respect that. Okay. I thought you would ask me about what you called me. You called me, it I called me, yes, you. Yeah. But please, can you oh. comment on that Yes, sir. the Daily Maverick uh, yeah. allegations yeah. that were leveled against It's an absolute rubbish. It's an absolute rubbish. Yeah. And there's nothing new about the Daily Maverick uh, allegations. I think when she goes dry, uh, she looks for uh, uh, something that she's not reported about in the statements she found and then she re-repeated the same story. So let's take the Sundown House, for instance. She wrote about it from the beginning and even implicated Dalimpofu in the Sundown House. We responded to it. What is there to respond again? It's not, it's not new. I'm not using uh, Mahuna's money. Mahuna never received money from VBS. She doesn't say that herself. Mahuna received money from Skamega. And Skamega is not VBS. And therefore, Mahuna never got any money from VBS. Uh, and therefore, Mahuna is run by a cousin. My cousin, let's take Deben July, for instance. 500,000 spent at Deben July. And then it, it is alleged it's spent by me. But it's not true. My brother runs a maquis at uh, Deben July. So they buy a maquis at Deben July. They sell a corporate ticket at 70,000 per ticket. And then they sell alcohol, they sell food in that thing, and they hire DJs, they make people pay, they make money. So it's not like someone went to eat 500,000 at the Deben July. They put that money written Deben July because they procure my key, sell the corporate tickets, make money out of it. There's one uh, 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 transaction she, she asked about of 500,000 to Major League Gardens. And her herself, concede that Mahuna paid 500,000 to Major League Gardens. It's a festival. They put 500,000 in partnership with Major League, and then they made 100,000 out of it, which was paid back to them. So they put money to engage in business, and they receive returns out of that. So it is not correct. So when you say Malema, he paid uh, Malema's child's fees, I once asked him to pay for the fees of a friend of my child who had not gone to school for six months because the parents could not afford. And I asked him, why is my son's name written there? And it was for easy reference because I was helping the family you said I should help. They help not only him, my brothers help poor people uh, at, at universities, poor people uh, in the villages, poor people in the townships, they build houses for them where they can be in a position to afford. I, from time to time, ask them to do that. The same way I do with all of uh, the corporate. She says I slept in a particular hotel in Debe. She can go there, leave the cameras. She can go there and ask, has Julius Malema ever been in this hotel? I don't know the hotel. I didn't sleep there. I slept somewhere else with my wife and we slept very well <laughs> and enjoyed each other properly. So there was never a problem. Me sleeping in some hotels I know nothing about. So it is a fabrication. It is unfounded. My brother runs an office again in Johannesburg for information. But equally, all my brothers are in all the events I'm at. They are here now. They will not have let me come here alone. They always are supportive and I support them. So you will always find them where I am. All of my family, especially the boys, are in business. They are running business. Mikiti Lodge in Polokwane, 
That's where one of my brothers is running a, a hospitality business. That's where we are hosting uh, different types of festivals in Pulukwane. Another one is coming this weekend. It's not for free. People pay one fifty at the gate. They buy alcohol. They buy food. At least my brothers are not in tenders. So she has got a problem with that. She says, this company is not even doing tenders with government. When they do tenders with government, it's a problem. This com companies of Malema's family is doing business with government. When they don't do business with government, it's a problem. They prefer private to private business. It doesn't mean they don't do uh, business uh, with government. Louis Vuitton, Gucci, I've worn it before. I don't wear it now. I make no apology about it. I don't buy it with VBS money. I bought Louis Vuitton and Gucci before VBS. If you don't know and you are just a recent graduate of journalism, go and ask Deborah Pata. I answered that question long before. Anyone who voted for EFF and voted for me, they knew that I came to the EFF with Louis Vuitton and Gucci. It doesn't start now. It will not be stopped by politician Polyphan Vague. It will never stop. No one can tell me what to wear and not to wear. I make no apology. What I wear uh, and do not wear do not influence my political consciousness and commitment to the revolution. Will you be taking any action against these allegations? I don't have time for that. I mean, uh, in which courts? In which courts? So I'm not going to do that. I don't waste time or on Polyphan Vague. I don't have the money. If I have to take Polyphan Vague to court, I have to go and ask my brothers to come and finance that. And then, hey, this is for Malema's benefits. VBS. The VBS money <laughs> is being funny. used to go to court. I'm not going to do that. I've taken a decision, and that's why I will not engage her as a journalist. I've taken a decision, she's a politician. Mm. And then she says, Mbuisen, coming back from uh, 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 Deben July, yeah. I stopped to buy Nando's. But if she was an investigative journalist, she will know that I don't drive going to Deben. Even that time I didn't drive, I, f I was flying. It's not true. So the facts are there. She calls herself an investigative journalist with a bank statement that was given to her by a friend of hers in Verksmark. And it's not investigative, she just looks there and then she makes assumptions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was driving, he bought Nando's. I don't drive. I never drove to Deben in July, I fly. Um, will you and the EFF in charge be going to Zimbabwe to bury... Uh, Absolutely, we are going there. We are going to bury President Robert Mugabe. Uh, he's our leader, he's our icon. Let's all uh, remember Mugabe the best way we know how. If, he, if he's a villain to you, don't impose that on us. Let's all remember him in different ways. What could be a hero to you may not be a hero to me. Wait until the clerk dies. The clerk is going to look better than... Robert Mugabe, according to these people who tell us who to celebrate and who not to celebrate. I'm not the type. Nobel Peace Prize. Yeah, Nobel Peace Prize. The clerk, Nobel Peace, uh, 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 Nobel Peace uh, 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 Achiever, who presided over a regime that killed our people in the 90s. So I'm not going to be told by racist of note who to celebrate and who not to celebrate. The last one, uh, put it on the, the, the Mugabe matter. The AFF has an event scheduled on Thursday to commemorate that. Are we expecting any international leaders or leaders of uh, government to attend the event? No, we don't expect any government uh, event I mean, leader to come or any international person to come. The memorial service is open to all. We wrote to uh, the Zimbabwean embassy, we wrote to ZANU PF, informing them that we'll be honoring uh, President Mugabe, uh, like we did with uh, Fidel Castro. We always uh, honor those that the uh, 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 white monopoly capital want us to hate. We do the opposite. Mm -hmm. Mama? No, she asked my question. Okay. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Malema, this is Aga from the industry before. Sure. The government has been saying that he is xenophobic attacks, uh, not just xenophobic, but a matter of criminality. Is, is our government out of touch with the reality on the ground, or would you say that it's in fact criminality? Xenophobia is criminality. You can't separate it. You can't say uh, it's xenophobic or it's, it's now criminality. It's criminality. It is unacceptable. It's a, it's a crime against humanity. And those people who are engaged in it, 
they must know they are committing crime and they must be punished as such. They are criminals. We agree with government, but do not try to justify one with the other. They are all the same. They are rotten to the core. They are undesirable. Our government should never even try to defend those thugs. They are thugs, they are criminals, and they must be called and be referred to as such. No one deserves to be treated the way these rascals are treating uh, our people. No one. We should treat each other with respect and with dignity, and that's exactly what uh, uh, we will entertain. We don't have a problem. We know there are problems of drugs. We should punish them. We know there are problems of crime. We should punish it. But we should not do that through committing crime. Uh, uh, there is nothing revolutionary out of the acts we have experienced in the past uh, a few days. Okay. Just on a lighter note, um, any of your members, um, any MPs have come forward to confess that they received money from the Sierra 17 campaign? Nothing, nothing so far, nothing. Why is that Just a quick one, last one. It's, no. very, it's very serious. <laughs> your response, last week the NPA confirmed yeah. that it had authorised uh, charges against yourself and Mr. Ndlozzi in relation to an alleged uh, assault of a police officer last year. Your response to that? Another mockery of our system. Now, when we leave here, when I left the office of the Hawks, I inquired about that. They say a provincial uh, head of NPA announced the decision to charge us. And when they took the docket, the spokesperson of the Hawks is here, when they took the, 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 the docket to the um, uh, senior prosecutor at Randberg Police Station, they looked at the docket and said, mm -mm. We can't call these people to court with such a docket. Go and do the following. And they called us and said, we are turned back to do further investigations. Please don't come. Someone is sitting somewhere, making stupid decisions, informed by politics and fear of right-wing elements like the Afri Forum. And then they don't apply the law. They do that out of fear of Afri Forum. Apply the law. At all times, it doesn't matter how unpopular the law might be. Apply the law. We send his mother now. Every 12 o'clock, midnight, she's praying. <laughs> or the child is going to be arrested. <laughs> by wrong information, wrong decision by people who do not apply the law. When the senior prosecutor sitting there says, you're going to make me a joke in front of a magistrate. I can't go to court with this type of file. Then they call and say, no, no, wait. Uh, will call you are still making further <laughs> investigation. So there's just generally a joke of the whole thing. They use us for diversion from real issues. Is yes. that why you use the term mischievous? Do you think both these um, uh, heads, the Hawks and the NPA, are trying to like come together against you? Well, there's, there's Afri Forum behind the whole thing. And they are scared to say to, Afri, to put Afri Forum at its place because it helps their political agenda to always bring us to the fore and divert us from the main issues in this country. So let's deal with the real issues and leave these nonsensical things which are a waste of time for everyone. The policemen they are talking about, it's a policeman that tried to stop me from entering the gravesite when we were burying Mamawi and blocked me. When I came out of the car, I said to him, Chief, what are you doing now? With the hope that the guy will recognize me, he says, no, you're not going to enter here. A white, big, white African male stopping me from bearing Winnie Mandela. I had to be next to the coffin, and no white man was going to stop me from bearing Winnie. If that means I must go to prison, let it be. No one, no white man was going to stop me from bearing Winnie Mandela, it was not going to happen. So you didn't not on that day, not on any other day. If that is an attack, take it. It is. It's an attack. Take it. You for Winnie, I will do everything. I did that when she was alive, and I will do that even now. I wish I did that. So the video footage is correct. I wish I, 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 wish I assaulted him. Now that is a, it's a real issue. I wish I did a real thing, proper. I regret not doing it. I should have done it so that I deal with real stuff. Me, I'm not scared, mm. but 
uniform or no uniform, African or no African, white or pink, I deal with you decisively. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, the leader of the EFF there, uh, Julius Malema, outside the offices of the Hawks in Pretoria, he had gone in a little bit earlier on uh, to give a statement on the allegations that he fired a firearm uh, during an EFF rally which happened uh, in July of last year. And also at the end, uh, taking the time to answer questions by journalists, touching on various issues. One key thing that he did say is that to him, xenophobia and criminality are one and the same thing. Xenophobia is a crime, saying that the EFF will be honoring the late Robert Mugabe in the same way that they honored Fidel Castro. And also talking about the allegations that he benefited indirectly from VBS funds rubbishing those as well.